Let's go to the league. Also known as Brad, right? Brad Corn. Yo, yo, yo. yo, yo. We're, we're going to get a little spicy at the breakfast table today. I'm going to give a little bit Let's different angles. Out. So I'm going to throw some salsa on my eggs. I'm going to mix up my chicken and my, my waffles. I, I still don't get that. I, I don't get the chicken and waffles thing. Anyway. You know I didn't either, but I tried to the waffles. Damn good. good. Oh, my goodness. You guys are missing out. We That's what everybody clubhouse, says. A clubhouse say. retreat, and I will be making you chicken and waffles, and you will change your freaking mind. Uh, Brad, I, I was the same way. Like, chicken and waffles. What the? What? No. And what? Honestly, I've had it, and it's so freaking good. Sometimes I make it for my kid at home. Yeah, you need to go out there and give your chickens uh, some syrup so we can have some syrup built into that chicken with the waffles, right? All right, so. Yeah, buddy, then you got to add the eggs to it, too. <laughs> yeah. Then you got to try ketchup. Is there a bad time of the day for waffles? Oh, yeah, there we go. Somebody's throwing in Mahomes ketchup talk there ketchup on potatoes and things like that i don't get it don't get it all right so to come, on, come on you need that special potatoes. though potatoes yeah 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 uh, hot, sauce. These people. hot sauce all the way hot sauce baby all right here's your hot sauce today i'm allowed to talk about food this morning come on i've already decided i deserve that chocolate covered donut now it's eggs and hot sauce and everything else lord have mercy hey listen i started a low calorie diet today so i did have three eggs this morning but i didn't have any bread or waffles or pancakes or toast or anything so yeah i'm with you I, i'm with you tony i'm on a keto thing and i i, I get such an immediate reaction from it it's kind of fun to do it otherwise i hate diets with a passion i just want to work out anyway all right so we're gonna get a little spicy here tony mentioned earlier is that person an assistant is it just somebody to help you do that amanda mentioned the blind spot you know and everybody's talked about this but it's is it us so is it who i'm gonna share with is it what and and this totally comes from michael gerber and gary keller kind of meshing on this topic of um, following models. So today, everything we do, we want it fast. We want instant gratification. Uh, what I notice as a business coach is we do what most people do and think about some of the companies that are being built today that are gone tomorrow. They're like growing so fast and then they're gone. Uh, Michelle talks about it all the time, the, the book Good to Great, um, where he talks about 25 companies and like 10 or, t or 12 or 13 of them are still growing after 25 years. That's the great companies. The good companies disappear after about 25 years, but they're really like profitable companies and they just, they build shallow, shallow graves, I would say. So I think here's the point. We get creative too early. We, we hear things like build it and they will come. Small businesses, 80% of small businesses fail after three to five years because they build it. They spend all this thing stuff up front building the Taj Mahal, and then they have to fill it. What you want to do is think about building a strong foundation first. When a house is being built, that concrete foundation is sitting there for a while, but the rest of the house goes up pretty fast. If they were to skip the foundation and start building the house, you'd see walls falling over and it'd take forever to build it or rebuild it and do all that stuff. So the foundation is follow proven models first. And because we're entrepreneurs, we are very creative and entrepreneurs and, and the downfall to a lot of small businesses, you get too creative first and you don't put the foundations in place. So we like for this group here, a lot of what we do, it is us that's making our success. And, and this is still a thing I struggle with as a business coach is I'm coaching what I know and I'm coaching that knowledge in my head. So that business is gonna be limited to how much bandwidth I can personally handle. However, if I document what it is about what makes me a great business coach and somebody else can just follow that model, then they could duplicate me. So the caution here, is when you're building a people-driven business versus a system-driven business where people run the system, that's your Michael Gerber. Let me say that again. If you're building a business that relies on people to build the business, people are freaking nuts. And when when it, the, the, the fallacy of find, now it's not a fallacy like it's it discounted. I'm just saying, listen to this. 
when you want to find other successful people, you want to find another you. Think about that for a minute. When you find like high talented people who who could be you, guess what you're wanting? You're wanting to find somebody talented so you can be out of the picture and not be there every single day. Well, guess what? When you add people in there who are at that same level, they don't want to be there every day. So you the, the thing I'm saying is document you and make it so systematized that if you did find a talented person, it would actually amplify their results 10x. But even more importantly, how hard is it to find a talented person just like you to come replace you and want to build your business as big as you wanted to? What's going to be a little simpler is go find an ordinary person that delivers your extraordinary service and deliver, delivers your extraordinary value. And you do that by systematizing you early on to where you are following your system so much that you don't even have to think anymore and it just happens to get every detail in there. Then you make ordinary people extra deliver extraordinary service in your plan. So I'm going to leave you. I, I put this on the Saturday post and I'll jump out of here. I know I'm going over, but this was one of my favorite quotes from Michael Gerber. If your business depends on you, you don't own a business. You have a job. And it's the worst job in the world because you're working for a lunatic. <laughs> so that's where I'm going to leave the spiciness today. Love it. Love it so much that I actually changed uh, the title. Who slash what is missing in your success? Because it's not always the who. Sometimes it's the what. Uh, so, uh, always, always grateful to hear you, uh, Brad, and, and, and to, to, to hear your wisdom um, for that. So appreciate you.